How to blur face in a video. It can be pretty upsetting when you have to let go of footage just because you accidentally got something in the shot that shouldn't have been there. You might be in a situation where you have to hide the people face in your video. Or you accidentally have your personal ID on display in a shot, and you don't want people to see it well. No worries, it's an easily fixable issue with the Ace Movie. Welcome back to Ace Movie Channel. Here we teach you the latest editing tips. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe our channel and ring the bell so you never miss a video. Go ahead and comment down below that more tutorials you'd like to see from us. If you don't have Ace Movie, you can find the link to download it in the description below. Today, we're going to walk you through how to blur face in a video. Now there are definitely blur face apps on the App Store and Google Play. But they can sometimes be a little clunky in their motion tracking and they won't give you the results you want. In this video, I'll show you how to blur face in a video with the following two ways. Way 1. Blur face with the regional effect. First, open the Ace Movie and add your video onto the editing timeline. Make sure you click the correct settings for your project. Now go to the left side of the screen, click the regional, you can see there are several effects. Here we can choose the blur effect and drag it onto the editing timeline. A box will pop up in your video monitor. Now I want to blur this woman's face out of my footage. So I'll drag the tracker box here. You can also adjust the size as you need it. So I'm just going to tighten this a bit around her face. Next go to the menu on the right, and change the blur amount as you like. After that, hit play to preview your video to see if the effect cover the face completely. You can also add the mosaic effect to replace the blur effect. And adjust the strengthens of the mosaic effect. A common solution to hiding faces or information in a video is like the first way, but they don't move along with the video. Next I'll show the second way, this way can move along with the video. Way 2, blur face with the stickers. Let's go back to the left side of the screen, click the elements tab. Here we can see 261 stickers on it, you can choose the sticker you like. I'll add this cloud sticker to the timeline. adjust the size of the sticker. The advantage of using the stickers to cover the face is, we can use the keyframe function to track the motion of the face. I'll show you how to do it. First, Let's click the keyframe. Second, drag the playhead to the place that the sticker can't cover the face completely. Thirdly, click the keyframe and adjust the sticker position to cover the face. When you move the position of the sticker, there will be a line between two keyframes and the sticker will move with the face. Then repeat the above second and third steps. Now click play to preview your video. The great thing about this is the stickers aren't static, like the clown is rotating and its sunglasses is blinking, so it's a lot more interactive. If you're happy with the output, go ahead and export the clip. Just go to the right corner of the screen, and click the yellow button to export it. 
Then rename your file here and check the location where you are saving the video. That's it for today's video tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for the new videos on the channel. Let us know what tutorials you'd like to see next in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.